Hype. I must confess, I knew nothing about this site. Uh, it's, it's a loot box website, to be blunt. Seeing this ad right here on Facebook Marketplace was what led me to their site. And yes, this photo was the first thing to catch my eye. See, the graphics card market has been totally jacked up as of late on account of scalping, silicon shortages, uh, what else? Uh, unprecedented demand, and a slew of other things. And we videos again discussing these issues and the resulting price trends that you can check out in the uh, video description here. But when it comes to photos of stacks upon stacks of graphics cards being sold, quote unquote, at extreme discounts and loot boxes, that, that's gonna raise an eyebrow with me. So let's investigate. Stay with me. Corsair's latest full tower offerings in the 7000X and 7000D airflow are ready for your most ambitious builds, boasting plenty of cooling potential and hardware support. Fit up to three radiators simultaneously with front and side mounts comfortably supporting, get this, up to 480 millimeter variants. Modern IO, ample cable management space, fan hub, the 7000 series from Corsair has it all. You can learn more about it via the link below. First off, let's be clear, loot boxes are a form of gambling, okay? Point blank, you're not gonna change my mind. You're throwing your money into something with no guarantee of a decent outcome, okay? That That is, that's gambling. And more often than not, the odds are stacked against you. It's how companies like these make money. They rig their stats heavily in their favor, usually, and you'd never know it because they almost never fully disclose how their randomization processes work. And this company, Hybe, or whatever the actual name of the company is, is no exception. Apart with a ridiculous terms and conditions page, which I will not bother boring you with, Hive appears to have no explicit description regarding its loot boxes and how their probabilities are set up. And this is something that um, we've actually gotten other loot box websites in the past to somewhat disclose. They're never gonna fully say how it works because they all still want an edge and they don't want you to know that they set it up that way. But uh, I couldn't find anywhere where they, they talked about this. I mean, they're, they're, there's no description of anything other than what you could win in a loot box. Now I like to use the word successful when talking about winning a product from a loot box that is more valuable than the price of the box itself, right? So if you paid 50 bucks and won a $100 item in that box, then you would that would be a success, right? But if you spent 50 bucks on the box and only got a $10 item out of it, that would be a failure. And it happens more often than not because of course companies like like this one, I mean, every company out there with the exception of nonprofits and charities and maybe a few other exceptions, they need to make money, right? And this is not registered as a nonprofit as far as I know. These are companies just like mine we all need to make money to survive. It's like food and water for us. So why would any of them create business models with odds stacked against themselves? Anyway, back to our Hive story. I was very interested to read the comments of others being targeted by the same Facebook ad I saw. <laughs> these, these are good. Just bought Fever Box. Let's see if it's real. I'll keep everyone posted. I just purchased one giant box. Can't wait to see. I am from Peru. Do you ship to Peru? And this one's my favorite. Thank goodness there's buyer protection with PayPal. I'm really curious what will come or it what will come at all. Yeah, right. Like there's any chance at all that you're gonna get your money back from PayPal when you willfully decide to gamble. I'm sure this person will receive something it's just not gonna be an RTX 3090 like he's probably hoping. But people are willing to give sketchy offers like these a chance because graphics cards are so expensive nowadays, pretty much everywhere. And, and look, that is extremely frustrating. This looks an awful lot to me like an attempt to prey on the vulnerable and, and impatient. And some may say, well, if they're impatient, that's their own fault. They got what was coming to them. And I see this all the time in, in videos that I upload like this. Uh, and, and look, I say that this shouldn't need to happen to begin with. They shouldn't need to be fooled and, and, and preyed on. Without proper disclosures, you might as well be throwing your money in the hole. That's just my opinion. And uh, I, I really don't like the fact that they're even allowed to do things like this. I'm also disturbed a bit by this company's rhetoric. Um, and not only is the English in this post extremely unprofessional, but the way they describe the situation there seems super sus. Hey boys, Commodore Space, best chance to test your luck. We're about to relocate our warehouse. All GPUs will be sold randomly at the largest discount. The best chance to update your configuration. So we've got a run on sentence here. Uh, we've got questionable syntax here, and we've got a very, very weird marketing strategy here. You're moving warehouses, apparently. I think this company's located in like, Ireland or something. They're moving warehouses, but they feel the need to sell all of their graphics cards because of that. Like it, at, at the hottest time in graphics card market history, you're just gonna give them away in random boxes. You're not gonna sell them on eBay where people are making twice or three times sometimes what they paid for their cards. This, 
does that make any sense? So I see this as a chance for Hybe to earn a lot more money than they otherwise would have on eBay. And they'd earn a lot of money on eBay. Assuming they bought these at the peak of the craze, right? And, and maybe they mine with all of these cards that they're getting rid of. There's no, there's no disclosure that they're brand new cards. I, I would highly doubt that they're brand new. Assuming you bought them at the peak, you'd still have obviously made some money from mining unless you timed the market super poorly. And then if you turn around and sold these cards, what they've dropped maybe in our recent market analysis video, graphics cards across the board have dropped maybe 20 to 30%. I mean, you've made more than that up by mining with those cards. So why wouldn't you just cut your losses and sell them for still more than MSRP most of the time on eBay instead of giving them away in loot boxes? So I can tell you why they're choosing the loot box options because loot boxes are more profitable for them. They can put a bunch of just bull crap, cheap cards in there. They'll tell you it's random and they'll still make a lot more money. They might even keep the expensive cards for themselves or better yet, actually sell those on eBay where they know they can still make huge gains. So I already hate the way this whole thing is set up, the whole business model, the way they're <laughs> advertising things. I haven't even really gone through the website all that much yet, so let's check it out. At thekiki.com, we love every passion and interest on earth because it is a reference to your uniqueness and to spread exactly that, dot, 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 is our core vision to help you express yourself. For some reason, those two words are capitalized. To support you at thekiki.com. That's not a sentence. I also feel like I'm reading like a, some kind of motivational speaker's notes, but written by somebody that clearly English is either not their first language or they didn't pay attention in English class. And look, if it's not your first language, that's obviously something that you can't control. You might be using Google Translate or another translator, but then some words just don't exist in other languages. So there will always be gaps there. But this, this is more than just, I mean, this is like syntax. This seems like somebody who, who is familiar with English, but just didn't pay attention at all in any English class, well, pretty close to any English class. I'm being critical here because it matters. This presentation is what conveys to us that you are a professional, that you should be professional. And when I read stuff like this, it's like, these aren't even full on sentences. That doesn't make me feel like I can trust you. So anyway, they list eight boxes here and there's like an electronics mystery box, a jewelry box, watches, holiday kit, basketball box, uh, women's, women's dream, okay, yoga essentials, and then king of esports, GP mystery boxes, they didn't even spell boxes right. And you can see why this is like, you know, you can see why I made the video because I got this like generic stuff here. I mean, okay, I don't know how early this one was around, but uh, this is the one that really caught my eye because this is the one that they're promoting on Facebook. They, they targeted me with this. I know I'm into PCs. So they targeted me with the King of Esports ad. And you can see it's got seven reviews, which isn't a lot at all. And none of these other boxes have any reviews at all, which is also really weird. So they have 24 hour shipping, which I guess, I mean, that kind of makes up for the fact that these boxes are extremely expensive. They have entry level, middle level, high ranking and fever. Okay, how do the prices change? 103 bucks for middle level. $156 for high ranking, and then Fever is $299. But if you notice, while I'm clicking through these, there's no change in the description. They don't change anything at all about what you're getting in each one. And this is another huge problem I have, right? They're gonna charge you more for a quote, better box, but they won't tell you how your chances of winning certain items increases. I mean, we'd expect the higher ranking boxes to yield more expensive things on average, but there's no indication that that is the case. And again, we kind of have to take their word for it that our odds are higher if we spend more money, which, you know, you just, you, you gotta go into this not trusting anyone or anything. You can't trust a company 100%. You can't trust any person 100%, maybe family or a lifelong friend aside, people will always make a few exceptions. When it comes to companies that are interested in profits, if they don't disclose something, assume the worst. And I'm sorry that this is like visible frustration I'm venting on camera because it, it does actually piss me off that, that companies do this, that they're first off allowed to do this uh, and that they can get away with it and, and actually make money with, with these just disgusting business models. I'll just say it. Um, it is... It's, you know, it's just scum of the earth, man. Like if, if you really have to resort to being this vague and this manipulative with the way that you sell 
things that are already in like gambling associated, right? You're already, you're already associating gambling, which people have many problems with. Okay. Um, and I'm not talking about like, you know, Oh, I object to gambling. I'm talking about people who actually have serious gambling problems. And a lot of times folks won't even know they have gambling problems until they actually do gamble for the first time. If you don't go to Vegas and throw a bunch of chips on the table, you might end up doing something like this instead. It is still gambling. There is no difference. Actually, there is a difference. At least gambling in a casino, you know what you're gonna get. You know what your odds are more or less if you're playing a table game like roulette, right? The odds are, are mathematical. It, it's it's public knowledge, yes, but, but you can calculate the odds because they're right in front of you, right? It's all ratios. But here, there are no odds. There is nothing in this entire box description that indicates that there are any odds at all that you could reference. And it's not even like I expect them to be totally transparent about the odds for, for each box but they should at least give you an idea of how their model works. Are you just gonna open up Google and, and you know start a random number generator? Do you have a system, like a, a, a an actual kind of breakdown? Maybe it's, it's as simple as an Excel spreadsheet that determines what card you get based on the box that you buy. I don't, I don't even care if it's that simple, at least it is something so that I have some sort of expectation when I go about spending this much freaking cash on a box that could have anything in it. So let's recap. Not only do you have no idea what you're throwing your money into, but you have no idea what the odds are either. I'm almost certain they are cherry picking what you're getting in your random box. There is no way, I, I cannot fathom how there would be any way that they are actually legitimately randomizing what goes into each box. I just, you, you're not gonna be able to click on a freaking entry level box and get a 3090. That even though they say, that that is a card you could win. And we'll go through all the cards in a second. But even high ranking, if, I, if I'm not buying the Fever box, how am I supposed to have any faith that there's even a chance, a tiny minute chance, that I could win something actually noteworthy? Not that, you know, any of these cards are noteworthy, but you know, the, the beefy cards, like the RTX 3070, 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090. How do I have any, like, faith at all in the higher ranking box, let alone the middle level or the freaking entry level. So let's check this description out. It is gold. Get the latest GP tech right here. Inside this collection are cutting edge graphics cards, comma, weird capitalized M. This is a run on sentence. Make your gaming dreams a reality. No space here. What's in the box? AMD slash GTX 950, 960. Why would you even put AMD here? I don't think they know what they're selling. 970, 980, 980 Ti, yada, 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 all the way up to an RTX 3070, 3080, 30 to Ti, and 3090. Now here's the catch, right? You see they snuck in GT 1030, okay? They got this right here in the middle. Well, they didn't really sneak it in. To be fair, they didn't rank in order of generation. So you go all the way back to Maxwell. You could win a Maxwell card, or you could win something as weak as a GT 1030, which is absolute dog crap. But uh, if you don't have integrated graphics and you need something and you're a baller on a budget, I suppose this will do. I'm just saying that if you buy an entry level box, your chances of getting a GT 1030 are probably like as close to one as you could possibly get mathematically. So, so you've really got to think about this from the, the business side of it, right? It's easy for kids to look at this and say, wow, only 69 bucks. I, I get a chance to win a $2,000 card. Why would I not enter? You know, mom, where's your credit card? I'm sure this happens more than once. And that might be who they're preying on. Who knows? I, I can't speak to them. I don't know them personally, but I can say that it's set up to look like this. It's very obvious to me that, that because they are so vague, right? That they're, they're, they're going after a certain demographic and it's either the naive or the young. And the young typically are naive. Any of us who are older now, I think we'd attest to that. When we're younger, we, we don't really, <laughs> you might learn earlier in life, but most of us realize later in life that most people are, when it comes to business, scumbags at the end of the day. They're in it for themselves, they're in it for their families. And, and, and in a way, I kind of respect that, but you can't be stabbing people in the back along the way. You can't be lying bluntly. You can't be attempting to deceive like I think this is bluntly. That just doesn't fly with me. But think about this from their perspective. If you're saying that this is totally random, right? Why would you even have four different levels to choose from to begin with? If it's totally random, why does it matter what, what box I buy? That completely breaks apart any I, any notion that this is totally random. That's how I know that it's not. Because if it was, then you would only have one box because it's totally random anyway. Otherwise, why would anyone spend $300 on a fever box? Oh, I know why, because you wanna give us the impression that spending more money gives you higher odds to win better cards. Then that means it's not truly random, right? That 
Your, your whole model is bust right in front of you. What will you get? You will get at least one of the above 21 plus GPUs. Good luck. And in case you missed it the first time, Good luck! How does a description like this restore any confidence in what I believe to be a scummy business model to begin with? You are preying on those who, again, have been desperately wanting graphics cards at decent prices. You're preying on children. You're preying on the naive. Why else would you have started this graphics card mystery box thing now, of all times to start one up? Heck, this Facebook page wasn't even created until January 2021. You don't call that a coincidence, do you? Oh, and I'm not... I'm, I'm not done yet, folks. <laughs> Buy mystery boxes with a guaranteed value. Rated 4.8 out of 5 on Trustpilot, trusted by over 100,000 members. Oh yeah, we, we about to dive into this one. So I thought it was weird that uh, what appears to be a relatively new company would, would suddenly have tens of thousands of reviews on a third-party review site, which Trustpilot, I don't usually ever reference anyway. But still, I checked this Hybe.com Trustpilot page, and sure enough, there appear to be over 10,000 reviews, a vast majority of which are rated excellent or five stars. 87% of all reviews, only 1%, less than 1%, are bad and poor. Why do I find this a little sus? So if you look over here to the right, it says about hive.com and then they have an email that says help at hive.com. This actually is a separate company from what it seems. If you go to hive.com, this is a loot box website, no doubt. Now this website seems to be much more established. It seems to it seems to be much more refined, uh, looks quite a bit prettier, and they seem to have a lot more engagement. But then this, the Kiki website, or however you pronounce it, they're, tr I don't know if they're trying to impersonate the quote unquote legit hype here uh, or, or what, but th their contact information, everything is totally different. They have an Outlook email uh, for their contact form, at least that's what's on Facebook. And I haven't checked the address, are the addresses the same too? Aha, uh -huh. they are not located in the same place. So these do appear to be, at least on the surface, two totally different companies, and maybe there's some legal loophole where they, they can name themselves the same thing and get away with it. But what is extremely dishonest is the fact that the Kiki, at least on their Facebook page, is attempting to reference Trustpilot reviews for the legit Hive.com. Nonetheless, I still have some problems with um, a lot of these Trustpilot reviews that are showing up on top. It's free and you get free things. What the f Tough to get to the store. Real estate for the store, I think. What? what? Easy to get stuff in low price. It's super fun. This is super fun and honestly, it kind of feels like gambling. <laughs> you don't say. Now an easy way to spot that most of these are, are fake reviews or bot reviews, whatever you want to call them. And this is, this is what I think, okay? This is, I can't confirm this, but just based on the fact that almost every one of these reviews uh, accounts, right? Like Sawyer Wilson here, left one review in the entire account's history on Trustpilot. And that review was for, you guessed it, Hive.com. Same with this account. One review, 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 yada, 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 the list goes on, okay? Every single one of these accounts has only left one review ever. How, how is that not sus? Now, we didn't touch on this earlier, but I did wanna read just a bit of the product description for the uh, the graphics card mystery box. This is. This is a real kicker. It says, feel the thrilling return of the excitement and suspense of gift giving as they delve into this whopping box to reveal over $3,299.99 worth of goodies inside. Who knows what they're going to get? What's the guaranteed value of the box? $99 to $2,299. Most of the styles in our warehouse are RTX 20, GTX 10, GTX 16, but RTX 30 and GTX 9 are very rare in stock. Now you're gonna have some folks in the comments, I almost guarantee it, maybe the people that run this site, they're gonna say, oh, well see, they showed you, they, they were honest and upfront that they have that they have very few RTX 30 and GTX 9 series cards in stock. At least they said that. That still does no good for me. I don't understand how this is supposed to, again, restore any confidence in the in the buying process of a loot box. Like, it's just, 
arbitrary kind of throwing out there the fact that there are a few of these cards, but how many the world will never know. Another big issue I have with this description is the clear contradictory information, 3299.99 worth of goodies inside. But then in like the next sentence or like the, the, the next couple sentences down, you say $99 to $2299. So is it up to $3,300 or is it up to $2,300? That's a thousand dollar difference there. Some would say that's pretty significant. Not that it matters, because I don't think you're, again, you're not gonna get any of these cards in any of these boxes that are valued anywhere near $2,000. But still, if you're gonna attempt to appear professional on your own website, at least figure out your numbers. And I think I saw down here, there was one other spot where they, they put a different number. Yeah, again, with a resale value in our store of anywhere between 250 and 3,500. So now it goes up to $3,500. Like if you're referencing different like resale values or whatever from different websites, say that. It's okay in that case, I suppose, to have different numbers. But if you're just going to vaguely shoot out that the values range between this and this, and then in preceding paragraphs mention that the values range up to this or between this and this, which is it? Get your numbers straight. Inconsistencies like these are the things that make people call into question the, the, the integrities, the legitimacies of businesses. They are doing this though to themselves. That's the thing you've got to understand. They are not looking to, to be specific or forthcoming about their model. They, they are intentionally doing this to themselves. They are vague to stir the pot and to entice vulnerable people. That is verbatim what I think this is. And it should raise a ton of red flags. Remember what we said earlier, Companies are in it to make money, okay? My company's in it to make money, so is yours. I make videos like this to make money, right? But it's the way by which these companies make money, these in particular, that I have a serious problem with. Firstly, you're targeting the PC gaming community, comprised of, yes, adults, but also many children and teens who may not realize what they're getting themselves into on a site like this, and, and let's be clear about what this is, this is undeniably gambling. Second, you're intentionally vague as and that never mixes well with something as controversial as gray market gambling online. When you walk into a casino and you play cards at a table again, like, like roulette or, or blackjack, what have you, you understand that it is entirely random, but you also understand the odds. It's mathematical, you can calculate the odds, but when you know nothing about what you're throwing your money into, you might as well, in my opinion, be throwing it into a freaking hole and burying it or burning it. And third, I'm not done yet, you're hiding behind extremely questionable, extremely vague, and inconsistent product reviews. First off, you're also hiding behind a vague product description on your webpage. You're hiding behind an entire, like, your whole webpage is sketchy as hell. I'm sorry, it just is. It, it, it's, it's, it's just, just reeks of, of scumminess, okay? And it's, it's this kind of deception that I cannot walk past without saying something, especially when it's targeting my fellow gaming PC gamers that didn't come out right. But you know what I mean? If you're gonna target my industry, the industry I'm involved in very heavily, this, this, this ain't gonna fly. So hopefully this is the first time and the only time you'll ever hear of the company named hype.com or the key key or whatever they're called. This video obviously brings attention to the site and may potentially drive traffic to it. I understand that, but uh, hopefully, it's it's it, hopefully this video also sheds a bit of light into the the questionable marketing tactics and business strategy. So if you do click on the website, maybe it's just for the laws, but hopefully it's not to hopefully it's not to harass. I don't want you to harass this company. That's not the point of the video. I also don't want you to buy anything from it either. Okay, just leave it alone. Just let this video suffice to say that it is something you should not venture near at all. That's all for this one. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. If you enjoyed it or learned a thing or two, consider leaving a like. You can consider subscribing if you have not already. I'm not sure what you're doing. If you haven't subscribed yet, come on. I'll wait a few seconds. Cool, all right, and uh, leave a comment down below. That would be appreciated as well. All engagement is welcome. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.